So yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 is on a lot of our minds and I cannot wait for this game. We've got brand new updates about the graphics technology behind this game. What could we expect from that? Plus, we're going to be talking about a lot more. You know, a lot of you are wondering, when will we finally see gameplay? Yeah, the trailer looks nice, but I want to see gameplay. We've got a good indication as to when that's going to be happening. Plus, could this game actually end up on the PS5, the PlayStation 5, and next generation consoles? Well, it's looking like that could actually be happening too. So let's dive into all of this news. We've got a lot to go over. I am so hyped for this game. I know a lot of you guys are. If you're excited for Cyberpunk 2077, hit that like button. And remember, here on Open World Games, we're going to be covering it extensively guys so look forward to coverage so yeah there was a brand new presentation uh, from cd project red recently with the developers up on stage they spoke about cyberpunk 2077 briefly i mean the presentation overall was very lengthy but they finally touched base with what we can expect from cyberpunk 2077 now there was a key slide in this presentation that went on to say this, the presentation goes on to say uh, that Cyberpunk 2077 is going to bring us rich and true to life visuals that will be built or are being built, excuse me, on current gen and next generation technology. So that is something else. So they say again that this technology that is behind uh, Cyberpunk 2077 has been built on both current and next gen technology now we are definitely right now uh when talking about the playstation 4 and the xbox one that's our current gen the next gen would definitely be considered the playstation 5 and whatever the next xbox will be called maybe it will be called the xbox zero no one really knows but uh yeah that's really cool to know that they are possibly prepping cyberpunk 2077 uh, for the next generation of consoles, there's been a lot of rumors that upcoming games and studios are already preparing for the next big graphics leap. And I do think that will be coming in the next couple of years. When do you guys think you would be prepared to lay down the money for a PlayStation 5 or the next Xbox? Let me know in the comments below. I think it would require quite the investment. But hey, I think a lot of us would be insanely excited for whatever is ahead now also there uh was an interview with mike ladlaw who is uh, the creative director on dragon age inquisition and he has actually i believe left bioware and uh he said that he was really looking forward to uh cyberpunk 2077 now there was a key part with the game informer interview that he participated in and he says this that he's looking forward to see seeing what the team at CD Projekt Red comes up with at E3 2018. Uh, so that's interesting. It sounds like he's expecting the game to be present at E3 2018. A lot of us are, and there's been, you know, previously a lot of uh, Polish websites, and you guys know that CD Projekt Red is out of Poland, that did say that anonymous sources also confirmed that we should expect uh, Cyberpunk 2077 at E3 2018, which would mean that I would think this would be the time where we would finally see our first full-blown gameplay demonstration. You know, this trailer you're seeing here is amazing, but I think it's high time we see uh, that gameplay. I'm dying to see the gameplay. You know, we've seen the concept arts here. You've seen this, and they say that this game is rumored to be four times larger than The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and its DLC combined, which is absolute insanity. Now, also at the Cyberpunk 2077 presentation, the developers said that the marketing campaign for the game will start when it starts, but they were kind of dismissing that you're going to have to wait when it's ready. They're kind of moving beyond that point. You've seen that in the trailer, the initial trailer, when it's ready, but they're like, no, it's, you know, it's getting time Near, it's nearly there, uh, so uh, hopefully we hear a lot about this game at E3 2018, which again is going to be June 2018, so have that marked on your calendars. And in other words, Cyberpunk 2077 is not going to be 
a Half-Life 3. So that's the good news. So from that statement, I was kind of relieved. I'm like, good. Sounds like they're about to get serious here, which is what they need to do because a lot of us are dying for more stuff. But again, I think the wait will be worth it. I think it will be totally worth it. I want them to take their time, develop something that's uh, you know high quality. They said that they have a five-year plan with this game and another franchise. So really excited to see what they do with that. And I'm going to get to the Witcher 4 comments here in just a moment as well. Now, also, let's talk about CG Project Red on Cyberpunk's ambitions. This is what they said uh, at that presentation, which, again, you can find that in the description below. They say, Cyberpunk is our new Witcher 3, but even more ambitious. Our goal is to establish a new blockbuster franchise from the beginning. We work in a new universe, futuristic universe. We believe it's very appealing to players, not only RPG players, but this is a true RPG, like Witcher, like Witcher 3, for mature audiences. It's handcrafted, detailed, and of course, open world with open-ended gameplay. And this is what CEO Adam Kaczynski said in the video. He goes on to say, great game, more ambitious than Witcher 3. And we, we believe that we can aim at more ambitious business goals as well. Of course, still having game, gamer-centric focus and quality focus as a main priority end quote and that's really important because you know business and gaming have not been working well at all lately if you guys know some of the failed launches lately you've had destiny 2 battlefront 2 a lot of stuff have gone down with microtransactions and loot crates and all that crap so uh, it looks like they're really in tuned to what has been happening in the industry they're familiar with that and they're saying we're not going to f it up in other words and crossing my fingers that actually ends up being the case because this game looks fantastic and you know cd project red they've only really produced quality throughout basically their entire lifetime as a company so i do have high hopes for this one for sure now what about the witcher 4 so yeah they're developing uh cyberpunk 2077 that's cool but a lot of you guys are witcher fans what can we expect from, you know, the next Witcher game? So this is what he said at uh, that conference. He goes on to say, we can't create Witcher 4 because that was a trilogy from the beginning. No one said that one day we won't decide to develop something in the Witcher universe. But now we're focusing on Cyberpunk and Gwent, end quote. So it sounds like they're focusing on that, you know, miniature style game. And uh, Witcher 4 is kind of on the back burner for now because I imagine that Cyberpunk 2077 is such an undertaking. And here's my opinion about it. I'm kind of relieved because when I hear developers taking on too much at one time, it can be a very bad sign. I remember the Kingdom Kingdoms of Amulet game. They had like that game going on and then an MMO at the same time. And it was an absolute mess. They should have taken their time with stuff. And I'm hoping that's what they're doing here. It seems like that is what they are doing here. These companies just need to slow down. They need to get out one high quality project at a time and go from there. But, you know, they have to be realistic at the same time. They are considering that this game will be a, you know, I guess you can say a live service game in some regards to post-launch content. They do want to supply their fans with post-launch content while supporting the game uh, long term with a business model that makes sense so there you guys have it all the latest happenings around cyberpunk 2077 so hyped about this game i cannot wait to find out more uh, remember to stay tuned here to open world games for more open world gaming goodness and the latest about cyberpunk 2077 i mean look at this artwork I'm so curious to see what the actual gameplay looks like. And, you know, honestly, even more excited if this game is announced for PlayStation 5 down the road. It makes a lot of sense that they would want to think about the future, considering that they may be in that transitional phase between the, you know, current gen and next gen when they release this game. So they have to be uh, very considerate of that and very careful. So I think that is what they are doing. But, yep. There you guys have it, the latest happenings around Cyberpunk 2077. Let me know what you guys want to see from the game in the comments below. 
Look forward to any news happening around the game right here on Open World Games. And remember, keep your eyes peeled uh, around June 2018 during E3 2018, guys. Exciting times. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.